Good morning preps, Mr Young here and welcome to Friday's Art at Southmore. This week we're going to use what we did last week and turn it into something else different again. So you should have on your desk your picture that you drew of the primary colours mix up. What I want you to make sure you do is put your name on the back of it in the middle so that we can find it if necessary. So I'm just going to write my name in there. Okay, I've written my name, Stephen Young, but of course you'll still call me Mr Young, won't you? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get an A4 sheet of black paper and fold it in half like so. And getting a pair of scissors, we're going to cut a shape out. Now, it can be any shape you want to, but I want it to go right to the edges, but not all the way to the edge. So, I want it to go, say, to there, and I'm going to make a circle shape. I'm going to do something crazy and go straight down, like that. Straight up, like that. Straight down like that, almost like shark's teeth. I'm going to go across a bit, and then up, across, not to the edge, almost to the edge. Remember we did this last time when we were doing stained glass windows? And then all the way down to the end. Don't throw this away. We need that for next week's activity. So I'll put that to one side. And then we're going to open up our frame. And mine looks something like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to try and flatten that out. Maybe bend the back a bit. Be careful, it's a bit fragile at the moment. And we're going to put it onto our sheet of paper that you best think captures the primary colour mix-up. So you're looking for the purples, the oranges and the greens. All right, so we're going to get our glue stick. And we're going to glue it, make sure we don't put any glue on our painting just yet. Glue the actual frame. We're going to call this a picture frame, if you like. Right, I'm just putting mine on there right now. Okay, oops. This glue all over my fingers, so I've got to be careful when I pick it up that I don't tear it. All right, here we go. So, looking for the best mix of the orange and the purple and the green. I think that's around about there. Okay, so I'm going to put that down. Make sure I don't tear it. Being very careful. Oh, Mr Young, you didn't do it properly. I went over the edge, which would look a bit silly. Try again. Maybe a bit further up the page. Here we go. That's it. Okay. So we end up with something that looks like that. Now what we're going to do is we're very carefully going to cut around the outside of the frame, like so. See, Mr Young's doing this. So we end up with an A4 sheet of paper that has a frame, a framed picture of your primary colours mix-up from last week. How cool is this? Okay, so we're actually reusing our artwork, which is what we do at Sartenmore. We reuse and recycle. Don't forget, any paper that's left over goes straight into the paper recycling bin. There we go. That is our primary colours mix up from last week, turned into a beautiful framed piece of artwork for you to put into your portfolio for the end of the year. Miss Young saying thanks very much, guys, for being with me during prep art at Southmore, and look forward to seeing you on YouTube once again. Bye now.